Okay, so as a continuation from the previous video, um, we're going to find the lower sum. So now the lower sum is where we're still using rectangles, but this time instead of using the blue rectangles, we're using a left endpoint. So the left endpoint is um, having the rectangles to have a height on the left hand side of the rectangle. So as you can see here, there's the um, the height of the second rectangle would be here, the height of the third rectangle would be here, and the fourth rectangle would be here. The tricky thing about this problem is the height of the first rectangle is actually going to be here at the very front of this uh, function. So the height of the first rectangle is when x is equal to 0, which is going to be a value of 0. So this one's going to be missing out on a lot of the area. Um, but the width of the rectangle would still be 0.25. So it would be 0.25 times the square root of 2 times 0, which would just make a rectangle of 0. So uh, that's the first rectangle. The next one would also have a width of 0.25, and it would have a height with a left endpoint, which would be right here. So that would be when x is equal to 0.25. So that would be 2, oops, that didn't work out very well, 2 times 0.25. And the next rectangle has a width of 0.25 again. The height would be when the function is equal to 0.5 or when x is equal to 0.5, the function value. So that would be 0.25 would be the width times the square root of 2 times 0.5. And then the last rectangle would have a height where x is equal to 0.75. The width would still be 0.25. So 0.25 times the square root of 2 times 0.75. So then simplifying, the first term is just 0. The second term is 2 times 0.25 is 0.5. Take the square root of that to get a decimal 0 0.707 and then multiply that by um, hold on, that didn't work out. 0.5 square rooted would be 0 0.707 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.177. The next one would be 2 times uh, 0.5 would be 1. Square root of that is 1 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.25. plus 2 times 0.75 is 1.5. Square root of that is 1.225, and then times 0.25 is 0 0.306. So then we can add all those together, 0.177 plus 0.25 plus 0 0.306 is... 0 0.733, which would be our final answer for the lower sum.